across it or else he was going to be a sitting duck. Yeah, for sure. And you can see a boy trying to hold things off there towards C long. But in the meantime, TSM will take control of A. So these, it's kind of awkward right now if you're Ambox. You know, a lot of these forward players haven't really worked out. And they have found some holes though. Seb, able to take down Wardell. He, was, he just got caught in the timing. Checking middle. And that is a chance. It's a huge chance now, with given how much space there is. But also the fact that you know, TSM have C long does make the C plant a little bit tricky because they might not realize how many players are towards this long position, if any. And Seb's not getting any info on who might be pushing their way through B. So they, at least by process of elimination, they know that that's not where the pressure's coming in from. But he's going to have to move from there here in a moment in order to get into the play. See them waiting just on the other side of the smoke. Before they mate for the play, there it is. The smoke goes down, the kills ensue. Boy walks out victorious, and Seb gets in on one as well. And all of a sudden, Hayes is alone, 75 times. And he doesn't have a ton of time. The frenzy was good for one, but Seb's is good for... Yeah, they're not picking up the orb here. They're looking to contact straight through this smoke. This is going to be dangerous. Oh! oh. Hey, he just, he just knows. He just, his spidey senses were tingling. And he's got a back sight, and Wardell follows it up nicely. Uh, buy a lottery ticket right now, my man. Boy swinging around, however, and he gets on to Hayes. He's going to upgrade his weapon as well. As quickly as that went well in favor, it's starting to tip back, but Wardell continuing to cause problems from Garage. Boy and Vice, really, they, they don't have great guns. Ye's the only one with a rifle. Vice is in a great spot here. He's hearing everything. Do they check the spawn? Yes, they do, but it's actually Vice who swings out aggressively. He's going to upgrade the weapon as well. A lot of getting the best of Wardell. And this has gone absolutely sideways. This has gone bottoms up for TSM. I know exactly. It certainly has. This is... Oof. It's, it's rough. It's very rough indeed. Oh, man. It's it's so it's so difficult. You know, things can just so quickly... I mean, this is the thing, right? If you're able to, with the pistols, get a very fast kill, the amount of time that you have... He's, he's created a great position for TSM to secure this one, much like Ambox did with that early pick. But the fast response here is really good for Ambox. They might actually just have taken so much control with Whoa. this that it, it might be... It might be, I don't know, a stretch here for TSM to recover. Again, there's not a lot to work with here. They're going to use the ult and Seb! He's able to wrap around C window to pick off one. And with that, Doug, it's going to be just so hard. It seems like TSM want to give up the ghost now. And this has been this has been pretty costly out of Ambox, right? Like, they invested the run it back to get onto the site to try to keep TSM back when, when they don't have great weapons, right? Cutler now has a Phantom, I believe, was picked up from Hayes at the beginning of the round. The swings out there, Cutler makes it sing as he gets one in 1v2 here. He has the Cosmic Divide, but surely, I don't know that there, yeah, there's just not enough time. See, he didn't get a pick, but there's, there's nothing really there to fight against. And it's a fast garage take that comes through. Hayes! Oh, the old man still got it. Able to take down two, and with that, I, I think he's younger than me, by the way. <laughs> but with that said, um, it's going to be a decisive advantage for TSM. And this was a great read from TSM, right? Because the gravity well early on in short, in combination with Wardell's op peak, sees that there's no one there. While they hear Boy using the From the Shadows, which we saw in the previous series, he often likes to take back behind Garage. So Hayes stands strong, gets a couple, they swing out, and they take care of Boy as well. And through all of that, Ambox finds himself at a disadvantage. Vice is alone after Seb drops as well into two rifles and the operator in the hands of Wardell. This was a very well played, well played round by TSM. And Vice might have a one v one here to work from, but Sabros is off angle there, mm. and Sabros is going to go down. At least it's a trade, but it's going to be tough now for Wardell to hold with all these players on coming. Yeah, Sabrosa was in a bad spot. Yay, with the Blade Storm. Oh no, he doesn't even get a chance at anything. His drone takes care of him. Wardell looking for one with the op gets it. Dashes forward looking for a second. Has the information, and if that wasn't enough, that's certainly going to help the Neural Theft giving away Vice's position. He's in a 1v3. He has the spike. He has 20 seconds left, but certainly not an ideal spot, especially when you see the, the defenses of TSM, assume, assume their positions. Well, 10, seconds 10 seconds left. left. Well, that's certainly going to help. Vice good for one, but he's got to get the spike down. He's running out of time. I don't think he's going to have four. <gasps> he's going to get the spike down, Dan. He's got it down to a 1v1. Oh, no, Hayes! For Ambox, what they can dial up. A couple of key ultimates. 
available and that dart made such a good play around the cage and then having the utility to be able to isolate the members of TSM and get the kills that they need. Boy was on the flank trying to get something cheeky happening. Oh, it's actually Sabrosa, excuse me, who's been able to get deep into the belly of the beast. Vice cleans him up. Mata using the run it back to help clear the site for Anabox Wardell's op. Laying up in heaven, spots the VA and is able to clean him up as well. Late storm in mind, there it is, it comes online. This is looking for more. It's really un looking for Hayes to be able to open up some of this as well. And they may not even want this, Dan. They, they may just try to play for exits. Yeah, it's tough, especially with no cage to work with, to kind of at least try to cross to hell. It feels very, very tough indeed. The double cage, critical here for the defense of TSM. Yeah. To allow them through the dark cover on spawn into backside control. Now this gives them a place to fight for as in comes Mata with the curveball. <sighs> it's only one though. TSM's Wardell is doing the Wardell things that we expect and love. As he looks for another, he's going to get it. Out comes the classic. Can't dash away in time, but Hayes is in it. It's going to be a 3 2 Cutler does have the Cosmic oh, Divide. Yeah. What else will they choose to use? Hazel also one point away from the Neural Theft. As for Ambox, as we've seen on C, they may consider pushing in forward. The Cosmic Divide's coming out. On his zone off Haze. Wardell's good with the op for one. Boy, in a 1v3. What magic do you have in you? Boy, good for one. The op is there. You can almost feel it. He's good for a second one as well. Boy's just waiting it out. He's got a challenge and boy comes up here. With that, Hayes has taken a good bit of real estate not too long. Wardell spots him. The Clyde, the man, yeah, just seconds. narrowly almost goes sideways. The paranoia comes out as well. Gets dodged. And I like this from Boy. Boy has shown willingness to be insane <laughs> with his ultimate. Gets onto the back of the site. He's going to drop the dark cover as well. And at least get the spike down. That's all he's going to be able to do. His drone cleans him up. They draw the ultimate out. But that's it for this half, as Wardell's going to get the defuse. A towards C, the dart's going to give away. There's nobody home, right? And they, they're, they're able to really pitch a tent and get as comfortable as they want. What I like that we're seeing out of Ambox is they're pushing in from a couple of different areas, but it looks like TSM is wise to it. Wardell's ghost, good for two, but yay! Showing that the Sheriff can do just this much damage as he gets a couple of kills of his own. Yay, Ace, Ace jumping across with the classic, wins out 1v1. TSM with the numbers advantage. I'm gonna try to meet this push around Swarm, but that gives an opportunity to set. Can he get the backstab oh. in time? No, he can't! Starting to creep forward again in SM crossfire. There it is. Oh no! There was they had the setup that they wanted, but both Ye and Mata drop, and now is gonna use his running back to get onto the site. Boy drops instantly. As Vice and Seb stand alone, Seb's, I mean, not even in the same zip code at this point. As Vice has to really do this on his own. It was good on the one flick. But that's all he got. Now Seb shows up to the party, but Dan, he, he showed up too late. Yeah, man. All the, all the fun was gone. And it's looking pretty desperate at this point. It's going to be a tough start. We, we saw, we, we spoke, I think, multiple times about, about resilience. Seconds and they're almost at a spike plump. But what if something goes wrong? And that's the question. It will have a play in and there's, oh no, and something's going wrong, all right. And I don't know if they're going to have time to remedy this. The smoke goes down. They have to push through it. There's no other choice. The dash comes through as well. But Marta's in a great position. They know where he is. There's a the curve rule. Through the wall, the spike has to get planted, otherwise the round's gonna be lost. There it goes, it's getting planted. Yay yeah, makes the play to try to get it done with the knife, <gasps> and the spike is not gonna go down. Seems like it might be enough, Doug, because we do have a rotation coming through from Boy. Oh boy. Hunter Fury comes out, Mod is able to swing out with it, good for one, and chooses to use the run it back to buy a little bit of time, to buy a little bit of space, and to continue to push forward onto TSM as they run for defenses. They've got to back up and respect what's coming from Ambox. Color drops, the spike drops with it as well. And now, feeling the pressure, got to fend off what Ambox has at them. Mod is already good for three. Mata looking for more, chasing Wardell down, but he's got not Brady on the other side. Mata good for four, looking for the ace. Hayes, the last one standing. No, Hayes stops it. Stops the party, stops the fun. However, 
Looks like there is enough there on that line. Yay from the site itself from Platt is going to take the first kill. The smoke comes down. And all of a sudden, TSM are in a, hot, a lot of water, hot water right now, Doug. Oh, man, and it's only getting worse. Yeah, the gravity well's there, but he's going to use the cloud burst to buy him some cover and give him some space. Boy, looking to reposition and stay alive as EA continues to cause problems with the operator. Cosmic Divide comes to do, and TSM looks to push forward. Boy, remaining. spots a barrel of a gun, and he's able to clean one up, understanding there's likely another one just around the corner. Wardell with the op right in his face, and Boy sees... Ready to go for this C-Long pick. There goes the camera. That's going to try to break cross that <gasps> placement, and the punish is in from Wardell. So we're talking about those openings, and it's actually going to come from the aggression from Ambox. So we're just talking about how not having to do that was actually working out for them they wanted to mix it up but it didn't work out this time and off of the back of that we're seeing a rotation through to mid and we saw this position work out really well for boy before and oh no some bros and nails it this time that looked guaranteed 11 health that was the idea of where he is too the position's good but the fact that there's no element of surprise is just going to mow him what down yeah color cleans him up a lot of drops as well and you mentioned at the beginning of the round where it was that TSM was going to have to reach into to get back into this thing. This very well may have... This blade's form. Dashing in, yeah, right in the back of the head, looking for a second. No, it just narrowly misses, but the classic is the one that cleans things up. Five seconds left, TSM have to get onto the spike, and they have to do it now. I don't think they're going to have time, Dan. Yeah, time is gone, and that is a great result. What a beautiful dash. towards C. A great paranoia to tag up a couple of members of TSM who are pushing their way forward. Hunter Siri comes through. I mean, it doesn't even clear the sight in. They're still sitting there. Yay with the collat. Hey, good for one as well. Yay looking for more. With the operator, Seb cleans things up. And Yay was looking to see who else he could mow down, but there was nobody left. The bros is alone. He's flanking around. Takes care of one. He's one point away from having the right back. Gets this kill. He can certainly bring it online. Just spotted, but that was all he got. Still down in hell. The cosmic divide comes through as Wardell's op takes care of boy. Rosa waiting for the Oh my gosh! The Rosa waited for the flash. He knew it was coming. He got two. Drone got the last two. T Money left. They've got enough somehow for an operator on Yay. But in terms of everybody else, it's it's definitely not looking ideal. Sheriffs and Spectres. So it's gonna be interesting. We do have the blade. Yeah, he may get his chance dodges around. Yeah, man. But they're in a spot where they can do this. Hazed again. Around the lurk, boy. Punishes him, waiting to see if there's anything more that should left. be able to give them a decent weapon upgrade drone. Getting a patient he's having before. My gosh, Mana! Mana's already good for two. Anbox are doing it! Colors left alone! He's looking to get something, but he may not get a chance to play those things away. TSM have taken tree, they're looking to work their way over towards A. Ambox are in a great spot, though, in their in their ability to defend the site, right? TSM has already dropped two members, but Sabrosa with 10 health creeps his way forward. Not before dropping his boy cleans him up. He's gonna get traded out. Wardell's left alone. It was an ex- I mean... Keeping that, you mentioned how the middle of the map could be what's exposed, and Ambox sniff it out. I mean, wisely, they know exactly where to push, they know exactly where it hurts, and TSM have already dropped two. Yeah, that, that arrow is so awesome. We, we might have a moment to talk about that on the line here in this round, and dude, the flash looks oh. good, but nice spray onto the angle. They One covered the choke. Oh, I thought that was Seb that got those, but it's nice that comes through from mid. <laughs> Active though, so I'm liking that. Oh, the nice one. That's going to force Haze to get separated. He's going to go straight through, oh, and that a. utility use is just so awesome. It's so great when you're able to split up the opponents like that. Yep. And Doug, it, it looks so... Ambox looks so strong. They're active on the map. They're hitting their shots. He thinks they're going to attack, but they're actually going to A. Mata has to go big. Mata is good for one, but he drops Sebs there to help out. As a secret tag up Seb. The spike's gonna go down at the hands of Hazed. Ten seconds left. Nine seconds left. Does go down. Yay's operator takes care of Sabros, and now Daze is left alone. He's got a lockdown, but in a 1v4. It's a tricky spot to be in, good for one, but that's all he was doing. In tree, they surely know what's going on. He, again, even though Hayes takes down Vice, he's not in the fight. There's two players here for the attack that are not in the fight. They have to plump Spike A. They get it. The lockdown comes in, the defender lockdown. They have to challenge for this. And there goes the Shock Dust to try to take it out, but they miss those. This is getting really weird now, Doug. One second. Yep. One player's detained. He's going to drop. 
Brone is playing back and wine, and Seb might just try to stick this thing. Boy is just on the other side of the smoke. Boy was there for the cover. Boy cleans him up. So Rosa just in the nick of time, not able to get there. I mean, a fraction of a push is going to work out from TSM. Oh, it's dry. They dash in. Vice doesn't need the Hunter's Fury. He gets the first kill on to Hayes, and the spike goes down. Wardell trades it out as Ye is still anchoring things down on the back of the site. He's going to have his hands full in a moment, not able to mow him down. As TSM get onto the site, we ask them, how do they do it? They've done it. They're going to get the spike down as well. Seb and Mata looking for something. Mata's good for two. Sabrosa left alone. Flashed up. And again, 13 seconds. Like, TSM continues to fight the, the, fit, the sixth man in the server, and it's the clock. Sabrosa gets the spike down. Sabrosa gets cleaned up instantly as Mata gets three. And Bakhtin. Mata drops. Such a desperate situation for TSM once again here. Again, if you're just joining us, Ambox won the first map, Haven, 13 to 11, and TSM are experiencing so much desperation. Another Yay. kill from Ye looking into the B main position, and Ye is killing it in mid right now. There's no answer for him, and this play into the A site is really all that's left here for TSM. Two opening frags, but how much can Boy get? There's the first, the second is converted as well. That's all he needs to do at this point. Well, Dell's going to get traded out by the Hunter's Fury, and that is a wrap. And Antree, so they know it's not a fake. Well, and Vice doesn't have the Hunter's Fury, so it's going to be difficult to cancel it out. Right, so that's certainly going to work its way through. Mata was able to get one, but man, Hayes going in aggressive. Able to get two of his own. Boy responds right back. The paranoia is going to come through as well. Boy has a decent idea of where he is. He cleans him up. I, uh, mid! And TSM, they've got to make this good. And oh my god, how is EA killing everybody? Everybody! Oh, what a paranoia. What a paranoia. Vice swings at the same time, but Wardell... Manages to swing out and get the kill on device. And now for, for just a moment, it seems like they may have some breathing room on B. See Ambox still have two members on the other side. And of course, as I say that, Mata and Boy answer the call yet again. As Hayes finds himself in a 1v4, outnumbered, outgunned. Decent amount of time. That's, that's really all he has going for here. Tough times here. Hayes. I don't know that he's going to find a way to get to a site here. There's a lot of different obstacles, positions to clear, things to worry about. He'll make his way forward, though. And if you can get a post plant on the A site, this is this is the best look we've seen, I think, so far from TSM this half. Yes, absolutely. And Vice is going to show up a bit late. No way. A lot of backtracking. And just to get what Wardell gets one as well. All right, TSM at a numbers advantage here. The lockdown's going to come out. The Hunter Series is going to follow shortly thereafter as the lockdown gets cleaned up. Spike continuing to tick away. Wardell with 30 health left and an operator looking to get TSM on the board. As Cullen's in a great spot too to blow things up. Great shot from Wardell. Vice alone. The perfect game is gone. TSM is on the... Given uh, by TSM. The alarm bot... Should help run a little bit of interference. At least a little bit of info. And Hayes dealt it some damage, but he drops as the pistols from Anbox just like mow over TSM on the site. Drone's going to drop as well. It's just Cutler and Sabrosa that are left, and they're going to be showing up from the opposite side of the map. So full map control, full site control, excuse me, in favor of Anbox. And they're able to assume their post plants. They're sitting cozy. They've got everything they want. It's difficult for TSM to work their way back in. Maybe a little bit of greed could be their downfall, but no, a flawless round for TSM. And he's just going to get in there, and it's it's a tough one. I don't know that although they'll have to give up the man advantage there, but he's going to go for the, the, the play, the risk. And here comes the play into the A side. Oh, nice by Cutler. Maybe there's something to work with after all, as Cutler nails two. 2v2 is all that's left, so Rose is able to get one vice. Play around the map, you certainly heard him. Oh! <laughs> able to hear someone this defense, so they're trying to stack towards the safe side, they're anticipating the rotation. And, oh, Cosmic Divide comes through, and this is going to be down to hitting those shots, the mechanics here. Cutler, oh, they're actually going to force their way through into the TSM meat grinder. Hayes will take a double. Seb. Hey, what's a job there to force one to swing? That's what Seb really needs. They have to just not give him a free kill right now and push back members of TSM that are trying to play onto the site. The wall has gone up, so Tree's going to be very difficult for them to get through, but Hayes is trying to dance around it. He does have a lockdown of his own, Dan. 
Yeah, and th yeah that, that lockdown is pretty huge. With the wall there to help protect it, this could be a pretty huge moment. That will actually force players to be playing in a main, most likely. And they can wait They can wait for this one to pop. Matters they're ready with that curveball. And, oh, no. oh, then, don't see... What? They don't see ready for it, but somehow they get the kill anyway. This is looking very, very problematic for TSM right now. Hayes is going to try to make the drop towards hell, but the frags are coming here for ABX. They're making it all work in their favor. Well, Dell is the last man standing, but not...